Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 2x plus square root of x equals 10. Okay, so the first thing is to make root x the subject. And we do that by subtracting 2x from both sides. So on the left hand side we have 2x plus square root of x. Then since I want to take this from here, I will still have minus 2x. And on the other side I will have 10 minus 2x. This is because if you do the same thing on the two sides of an equation, you have not changed the equation. Now this and this can go. Only this remains. We now have square root of x to be equal to 10 minus 2x. Okay, what I did here is to, you know, subtract 2x from both sides. Now if it was some um, negative 2x on the left, then you add negative 2x to both sides. Okay, I mean if it is negative 2x on the left, you will add 2x to both sides. Okay, it has to be the additive inverse of um, what you have on the left. Now, we our next target is to remove this um, square root. We can do that by squaring both sides. Then on the other side we have 10 minus 2x. Now I will square it since I've already squared the left. This can go with this. Now our x is equal to 10 minus 2x in two places because of the square. 10 minus 2x. Okay, so the next to be done is to open the bracket. X will come out first. 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times minus 2x, that will be minus 20x. Minus 2x times 10, another minus 20x. Then minus 2x times minus 2x will give us plus 4x squared. Now we have x equals 100 minus 40x minus 20x plus 20 minus 20x will give us minus 40x minus 20x minus 20x minus 40x then we have plus 4x squared. Now what do I do? Let's rearrange. The one with the highest power should come first, that is 4x squared, followed by this, minus 40x, then this will come, becomes minus x, then this plus 100 will come down, and everything is now equal to 0. Now we have 4x squared minus 41, because... Um, minus 40x minus x is minus 41x then we have plus 100 and then everything equals 0 by the way this is now a quadratic equation okay so from here now we're going to solve our equation by using the formula our a is 4 b is minus 41 this sign should go with your 41, right? Then our C is 100. Now, what is the formula? X is equal to minus B plus or minus. Then we have square root of B squared minus 4AC. Everything is over 2A. Now, let's substitute so that X will be this negative is this. And B itself is minus 41. Then plus or minus. 
b squared will be negative 4 to 1, then squared, as we have negative 4 times a is still 4, and c is 100. Then we divide this by 2 times 4, because a is still 4. Now our x will be negative, negative is positive, 4 to 1, plus or minus, 4 to 1 squared is 1681, the negative will multiply itself and it turns to positive, 1681, then minus, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 100 is 1600, then we divide by 8 for 2 times 4. Now, our x will be equal to 4 to 1 plus or minus, then 1681 minus 1600, that will give 81, then we divide this by 8. Then mind you that square root of 81 is 9, so our x will be equal to 41, 41 plus or minus 9 over 8. And this means that we have x to be equal to 41 plus 9 over 8 or 41 minus 9 over 8. You know, one has to be positive and the other negative. Okay, so this means that our x is equal to 50 over 8 or 32 over 8. Now, x from here will be, okay, um, 2 into 50 is 25, 2 into 8 is 4, or 32 divided by 8, that will be 4. Okay, so this is the solution to the problem. We have x equals 25 over 4, or 4. But then, let's confirm the equation is 2x plus square root of x equals 10. Now, do you think both of them will satisfy? The answer is no, because this is not a direct quadratic equation, so it should have one solution. But then, let's put um, 25, or let's put 4, because I'm very sure that 4 will satisfy. This will be 2 times 4, because x is 4, plus square root of 4. Now, this will give us 2 times 8, 2 times 4 is 8, plus square root of 4 is 2. And that means that we are having 10 on the other side, and that is what we had over there. And if 4 can satisfy this equation, it means that 25 over 4 will not satisfy, right? So, we will now say that um, x, x equals... 25 over 4 does not satisfy and then x equals 4 satisfies thank you for watching and um, if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe for more of this